I wanted to make sure before I came on here, I really let this news marinate because I didn't want to just come on here talking reckless and thinking all these crazy thoughts that I know a lot of y'all thought too. But I wanted to come on here and really just have my peace of mind when it came to this situation or whatever it may be. So the Ravens, they brought in former Steelers quarterback Josh Dobbs on a tryout. And initially, the first thing that went through my mind was why? For what? But then, that's why I said I had to think about it. I didn't, didn't have to really think too long, but I'm like, all right. Josh Johnson, he went to the Broncos. Kenji Bahar, his contract ended. So the Ravens right now only have two quarterbacks on their roster. Lamar Jackson and Tyler Huntley. Now, there were some people, like my guy Checkmate, he said, uh-oh, it's a Huntley deal on the horizon. And there were a lot of other people that felt the same way. They were like, uh-oh, uh-oh, Huntley about to get traded. It's Huntley trade time. Huntley for DK Metcalf, give me that. But I just, I don't think that that's it. Uh, and my guy Dog Kush Poppy responded to that. He said they're just looking for a Josh Johnson replacement. I was like, ah, oh, yeah, I, I could definitely see that one. And uh, But Checkmate said looking for a third string this early in the offseason? I don't know. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, but most people that I've seen reply to it, they, they think that Tyler Huntley's on the way out. I don't know. <laughs> Beats me. Um, but as far as uh, them with Josh Dobbs, y'all remember that game? Um, I don't remember what year it was, but Ben Roethlisberger, he went out temporarily with an injury. There was one of those, oh, my tummy hurt and I got to go to the sideline. And then he came back out like two plays later. And I know it's going to be some Steelers fan like, man, you can't talk about nobody tummy hurting. Remember when Lamar went out? Yes, we do. So there we go. I for an eye. Anyway, um, in that, on that play, the, the play that, that Ben Roethlisberger went out for, Josh Dobbs came in and he converted a crucial, critical third down on the Ravens. And I remember, I, I don't remember what game it was. It was obviously Ravens Steelers. And I'm pretty sure it was at MT Bank Stadium. But um, I just remember thinking during that play like, man. How do we let, like, this dude, not a starter, he don't, he don't practice with the starters. He just came in and converted a big third down on us like that. I was like, oh, my goodness. y'all. Some of y'all remember what game I'm talking about, but I don't even remember what game I'm talking about. But anyway, the Ravens bringing him, for, in, him in for a tryout. Yeah, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. If you got three quarterbacks signed, say, for instance, you even bring in another one, like an undrafted rookie free agent or something like that, or another – veteran journeyman quarterback just for like once training camp rolls around and all that stuff okay because you're not going to be having Lamar Jackson throw all the passes you're not going to be having Tyler Huntley throw all the passes you want to spread it out because you don't want your quarterbacks to be overworked that's all I think it is I don't think this is an indication of anything too serious I mean if it is hey we'll see um because that would be good news but I don't think it's an indication of anything serious. Now, something else that is kind of semi-serious, kind of semi-not, um, because a lot of lies will be told is tomorrow. Tomorrow is the Liars Luncheon, and oh, we look forward to that. It starts at 12.15 p.m. Eastern Time, by the way. Eastern Time. So y'all on the West Coast, starts at 9.15 in the morning. So be awake. Um, and that is where Eric DaCosta... Uh, John Harbaugh, mostly Eric DaCosta, though, uh, they talk about the draft. They talk about different prospects. They talk about different guys that they like. They talk about different positions that they like. They talk about how they may just end up being insulted that people feel like they need to upgrade at a certain position so they're not going to draft and they're not going to sign anybody at that certain position. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. Um, but just go in there uh, with... Your head on, knowing that a lot of what Eric DaCosta and company are saying, it's all lies. It's all lies because that is their press conference where they do the most deterring. They try to really change up how people think that they're going to move when it comes to the draft. That's when they try to shake people off of their scent. Oh, yeah, it's, and it's fun listening to it. Even though I'll be feeling like the Ravens, they try to do that every single press conference. They, they just be throwing stuff out there, all these smoke screens and whatnot. So, yeah, tomorrow should be fun. But you already know we'll break it all down after they finish lying for about, probably going to run for about 30 minutes or whatnot. But we'll see when we get there. Anyway, team, keep it clean. 
love y'all i appreciate y'all i'll see you all tomorrow unless some more craziness ends up happening tonight we out